when we are going to learn different how can we manage the different types of div properties of the particular tag right div tag provides the layer to handle the multiple content on multiple layers to see there for example here we just write here some coding like this is it visible here the screen is visible no pet yes sir it's visible so just do the same coding as you know as well just head and just type your title and here just write here as one tag or just type here div the style handle and close this title and do the same thing again for the heading so let's choose here h1 tag and write the same heading div style handle clear so first of all we have to take a image or just take the text for example here we just take the h1 tag and write some text in that this type here this is swami vivekananda right and close this h1 tag right and after that here we use what div tag again inside we have div tag and we need to just close on this div tag right and do the same coding again just copy it and paste it again here by using control plus c and v and we just use here the different properties of the div tag this type here div style right and use a double in quote whenever you write some style property of the div tag so here we just type your uh, position position of here that is relative you can go with the relative use the semicolon and write the z index z index means the order of your layer you just use the order whatever the number of the layer you just give the id in the form of index so here we just use the index 0 this is my first layer right it is showing in the index form and similarly we can decide the another layer by doing the same code within the another one so just copy this particular content from here with the another one second div tag this paste it right and after that if you want to just give the color for that or you just write some content over there and use your um, color property just type your semicolon and color and color will be i think so just type your red and here just type green colon colon and green and let's try what will be the result just first you just save this tag save this file with a dot html and again move on where the resulting window so here we have the resulting window and just press f5 you will get the result here like this right so here we have the two content on the different position yes, but we want these two content on the same layer right so what we do just click on here and just change the position of that change the position of that just place your cursor here and just type here top and again you use colon and just type here minus 20 pixel okay and just save that just see here It is shifting. Your coding is appearing or not here? No, sir. Just see here. Here we just type here this coding here. This is the top minus twenty, and just save this, and again move on to another layer or another resulting window, and press F five. What happened? The position of this text little bit move upside. Okay, upward direction. Similarly, just increase the value of this top position. Just type here forty, and just save again. And move on again here. Mm -hmm. This thing, and click on share. And yes, sir. What happened? It is coming over the previous layer, just a little bit less. So just take another values. Just type here sixty, and again save it, and move on the resulting window, and click on share, and press F five. What happened? It is overlapping the previous layer, right? And if you want to just shift little yes, bit, sir. 
this upper layer you need to just give here the left align left side just choose your left and just how much distance it covers from the left margin just type here here just type here 200 and use semicolon to separate one attribute with the other and just move on here again this hurting window the see the coding is there here we just add mm -hmm. this particular section here to the left position 200 from the yes, left sir. okay and again move on here and choose here and press f5 and refresh that what happened it is little bit shifting from the left side right you can type here more value so just type here again move on the notepad value and click on here and type here 400 and just save this again just click on file and again save this there and move on the same screen deserting window and press f5 right i think a little bit less so we have to again just type more value just type here 600 and just save this and move on the resulting screen and f5 right a little bit more just type here 800 like this and just save it and move on the resulting window you will get the so you have just do the same trial and error you will get the see the distance will little bit increase so we have to again decrease the value of that this type here yes sir. and it is perfect for that screen after saving this you will get the proper result on the screen just see here right and you want to just give some movement to overlapping this text here so just type here what again move on the coding and we have to just add uh, some tag that is mark you tag okay so here we use mark you tag just type here mark you tag and again just close this here mark you tag mark you tag provides some movement for the particular text it will move from one direction to another and just again just type here mark you tag and at the last you have to close this mark you tag but by default direction is from the right right to left right so we have to mention here the direction just type your direction equal to this type left and similarly we just oppose the direction in the next layer this direction would be right and just save this after saving this just move on the resulting screen you will get the result here just press f5 what happened the serial it is moving from right or left it's appearing or not yes sir please interchange the direction we have to interchange the direction to move on again here and interchange the direction left becomes right and right become left just click on here just type here right and second one will be left and just again save it and let's check just press f5 what happened you see yes sir okay he is coming from here and this is the second one there coming from the right side okay and just see here they are moving overlapping with one another is it visible or not here so he said the side the see there it is also moving over the content so we have to fix this red color text here not more than that so we have to decide the screen width so we just move on the again coding screen and we just add another attribute that is the width of the div tag so just move on here and just type here width and use colon and just write the same values from the left the 700 just type here 700 again right and use the semicolon and just save this and again move on the output is from okay, so. f5 just see here it will not move more than half screen the here. it is disappearing from the this side understood it yes sir disappearing here and you want to just disappearing this content over here the serial both are the same thing right and you want to decide the same thing for the another part of this screen this part so you have to give the same width with the another part so just move on again okay 
and do the same thing on the other layer. Left side is that, and width would be the same. Width, use colon and just type your 700 and use semicolon and again save this and just check the result. Press F5. Just see here. Both text will be disappearing at a step on the center. Just see here. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. And say if you want to just give the background for that, so you have to again some add attributes in this particular text. Just type here and type here background. Background. Just write and just type here the color. I think just uh, yellow is better here. So the semicolon. And again, just use the attribute after that and just here background. Background. And use your uh, just type your uh, text so is uh, green, so you just use your blue, or just type your red, or brown, just type brown. Yes, sir. So click this and move on again out to the screen and just see what happened. A background coming like that, okay. And this text is not showing properly here, so we have to move on the wind coding here and we have to change the color of that, just change the color. Instead of green, you just use white. I think it looks better. After that, just move on again here and press F5. You will get the things like that. The white text coming from the left, from the right side, and red text from the left side. Understood? Clear here. So yes. we have just learned how can we manipulate the dim layer or dim style. By this. If you want to just increase the uh, speed of this particular text, you can again go with that. So just move on here and again just try to increase the speed here. Right? So just move on again, coding and we so, add an attribute with that. So just type here scroll amount, scroll amount, right? And give some value here. Just type here that is 20. Do you think it is enough? And again, just do the same thing on the another marquee tag that will be uh, again, just type here scroll amount and it will be the same. Uh, just type 20 and just save this and just check the result. Just move on here and press F5 to see that. Right. The speed of this content yes, will be sir. enhances here. Understood? Clear? Yeah. And if you want to fix this particular text at its center, it is not disappearing. If you don't want to disappearing at the center, you need to add some other attribute as well. Just move on here again and click on here and add another attribute in this marquee tag. Just type here, that is the behavior, you know, that is the behavior. Just type here and you can just see, write the behavior value. Just type scroll, scroll. Or you can just use slide. Okay. So it will stop when it comes at the center. Again, just do the same thing here. Just type behavior. And again, just to double code and just type here a slide. And let's check what happened. What will happen? Just click on this and click on share and press F5. What happened? It will stop? No. So we have to check the spelling again. Just move on the coding. And we have to use your not behavior, just type your behavior like this, right? We don't use to use. Oh, let's check again and check the result and press F5. What happened? It just stop at the center, right? So it is the property yes. by which it will fix the particular text at the end of the particular position, at the end of the particular grid. Yes, yes sir. Okay. If you don't yes, want, you should want just how many times it will repeat you can go through that uh, if we change your scroll okay but we can also decide the scroll numbers right so here we use your behavior scroll it means it comes and out it comes and out but how many times we can decide this time number of times by using loop you know loop so here we just use your loop there are five times or just type two times and similarly we do the same thing here that is the loop 
and equal to two. And the save this again and move on to screen output screen and press F5. You will get the things here. Just two times. Yeah. First one disappear. And again, it will come second time. And it will not come after two times, right? So here we decide the number of scoring looping, right? So it will decide the number of you. If you want to just add a image behind the, this particular layer, you need to just use your body tag. And again, you know very well, we have to close your body tag. We have to use your closing body tag. And after that, we place your background, you know very well, background, we can set the image yes, from sir. here and go to and just type here one, two, three dot GIF. You can go with that and just save this. And let's check the background of this also. Just click on here and press F5. It looks better than the previous one, right? We will give this type yes, and if you want to just give the st stable animation, you need to move on again coding and you just change the image here. Just type here G G JPG for this stage for the static image. Just type JPG. That is another type of image as we saved in our laptop. Yes. Sir. So you can choose here and just press F5 to see here. It coming like that. Clear? Yes, sir. So this is all about about of today's class.